from the secret color codes of bread tags to tricks to get your ketchup out of the bottle. Today, we look at 15 things you didn't know about everyday objects. Number 15. The Wear Indicator Having a tire blow out is a pretty scary concept, especially if you're on the freeway or otherwise driving at high speeds. However, this doesn't happen regularly. It can cause the driver to spin out of control and harm themselves, their passengers, or other drivers. This is why it's important to check the wear on your tires regularly to be sure that they're still reliable and safe. This might be hard though, especially if you're not very car savvy. Luckily, tire manufacturers have included a tool to help you. If you look between the tread sections on your tire, you'll see little rubber bridges. These are called tire wear bars, and they're there to help you figure out how much tread you have left. If the bar is flush with the rest of your tread, it's time to get new tires. Number 14. Beanie with Pom Pom Although it's now the start of summer and those long cold winter nights seem firmly in the past, you may have never taken the time to consider why that favorite winter cap of yours has that strange puff ball of fabric on top. Sure, now it's just part of the decoration that comes with the season, but did you know that it actually has a pretty long, somewhat unusual history? For instance, can you imagine that the pom-poms we wear on our beanies actually originated with the Vikings? It's true, Viking gods were commonly depicted with hats sporting a puffball, and the Vikings themselves wore such hats. Armies throughout history have also worn pom-poms atop their hats, and the color and size has even been used to denote rank and position. They were even worn by sailors throughout history, and one possible reason was that the large ball of fabric would help cushion the blow if you hit your head while below decks in the dark. 13. Bread tag color. Have you ever noticed that the tag on your store-bought bag of bread has a different color than some of the other bags? If so, you probably just thought that this was a manufacturer quirk with no real significance. You're wrong though. The color of the tag has a very specific meaning, and it will likely save you some money. The tags are a system, and they indicate which day of the week the bread was baked on. Blue is for Monday, green is for Tuesday, red is for Thursday, white is Friday, and yellow is Saturday. There are no bread deliveries on Wednesday or Sunday. The easiest way to remember this color system is that they are assigned alphabetically according to the name of the color. Number 12. Diamond Pattern on Backpacks If you have children or recently were a child, it's likely you remember seeing backpacks with that strange leather diamond shape on the front. It's usually about 2 inches tall and features a couple of small slits, which kind of make it look like a pig's nose. Like most people, you probably just thought it was there for decoration some weird trend that, for some reason, kids love, and so it ended up on every backpack. It actually has a much more practical use, though. It's called a lash tab, and its primary use is to allow you to strap things to your backpack, whether it's a pair of running shoes, a carabiner, a water bottle, you name it. The lash tab is there so that you can strap some cargo to your backpack and keep your hands free. Number 11. Pen Cap Hole Ballpoint pens are one of the most common items we all tend to lose. It seems like you can't use one more than a few times without it going missing. But the last time you used one, did you stop to wonder why the cap has a hole in it? Maybe you did, and you thought it was some kind of manufacturer defect. But most likely, you didn't notice it at all. It turns out that while the pen itself often goes missing, the cap is frequently chewed on, and more than anyone would like to admit, it ends up going down the throat accidentally. This is especially true amongst children, and there were many deaths as a result. Pen manufacturers took it upon themselves to try to stop this sad accident from happening and put a hole in the top of the cap so that if it does get lodged in your throat, there's a good chance that air will still be able to pass through. This little feature has saved tons of lives. Number 10. Heinz Ketchup Bottle We all love ketchup. It's great for just about everything, from coating your hot dogs and hamburgers to dipping your chicken tenders and fries. And Heinz is definitely our favorite when it comes to ketchup. Heinz is the brand you buy. But there's one problem with ketchup we all know about and try not to talk about. It. That is getting the sweet, delicious ketchup out of the glass bottle. It can be a challenge, and if you've ever whacked the bottom of the bottle repeatedly only to have your eggs, toast, bacon, and shirt covered in red condiment, you know how frustrating it can be. But Heinz figured this out a long time ago and put something there to help you. If you look on the glass bottle just to the right of the label and about halfway down the bottle, you'll see the number 57 embossed into the glass. If you give the bottle a firm tap right on that spot, your ketchup will come out without issue. Number 9. Magnetic Gas Pump If you're a connoisseur of fail videos on YouTube, you've likely seen what happens when someone forgets that they've left the gas pump in their car and tries to drive away with it. The hose rips off, 
and they look like an idiot as they drive away with the nozzle and hose trailing from behind them. But you may not realize that the gas pump was actually specifically designed to break off this way. You see, the situation happened so frequently that pump manufacturers installed magnetic joiners where the hose attaches to the pump. This way, if the driver forgets and drives off with the nozzle still in the car, the hose just rips off instead of the whole pump coming down and causing an explosion. You're still likely to do some damage though, so don't forget to take that nozzle out. Number 8. Padlock Hole Padlocks are one of those things almost everyone uses but no one thinks about. When it works, it's great. And when it doesn't, you're too busy worrying about the stuff you're now missing. But for those who do pay attention, you'll notice that many high-end locks have a little hole next to where the key goes in the bottom. Some have speculated that this is some kind of master access put there by the factory, or that you can stick a pin inside and pick the lock open. Neither of these are correct, however. The hole is actually there to act as a drain of sorts. If water gets in the lock, say during a storm, and freezes and otherwise becomes trapped, it can damage the lock. This little hole allows the liquid to safely drain out. As a bonus, it can also be used to oil the lock's mechanism. And no, you're not going to be picking the lock through that hole. Sorry. Number 7. Soda Can Tab Hole If you've ever tried to use a straw in a can of soda, you know that it's basically hopeless. The straw always seems to just float up and fall out of the can. You can't keep it in place to save your life. It may surprise you to find out, though, that soda makers know about this issue and have already fixed it for you. But you just didn't know about it. If you turn the pop tab around so that it's over the drink hole, you'll find that the hole in the tab lines up perfectly with the hole in the top of the can. This isn't an accident. It's done that way so that you can pass the straw through it. The tab hole will hold the straw in place and prevent it from falling out of the can. Number 6. Beer Bottle Color As summer rolls around, it's likely you'll be throwing back a few cold ones on those hot days. But as you do so, pay attention to the color of the bottle. Did you know that it actually means something? and it's done that specific way for a reason. It's not just decoration. The specific color of your beer bottle is chosen by the brewer to keep that particular brand of beer fresher, longer. You see, the different colors of glass let in certain kinds of light, filter out others, and this has everything to do with how long your beer stays fresh. If too much light gets in, your beer goes skunky. Green and brown glass helps to filter out that light and prevent that from happening. Number five, gas cap indicator. Next time you're in your car, take a close look at your gas gauge. You probably think you don't need to look because you see it every time you drive. You check your fuel level after all, right? But just go ahead and take another look. Do you see that little arrow next to the gas pump icon? You probably never noticed it before, huh? But do you know what it's for? It's actually a very useful little icon to have because it tells you on which side of your car your gas cap is located. That's right, no more forgetting and ending up having to get back in your car and look like an idiot as you quickly turn around. Just glance at that arrow and you're good to go. Number four, power cord cylinders. Have you ever noticed the weird plastic cylinder which sits on most laptop chargers, router power cables, and other electronic power adapters? If you have, you may have wondered what it's there for. It's not just decoration. That little plastic lump is called a ferret bead, and it's actually pretty important. It works as a suppressor for electromagnetic and interference between cables. If you didn't have this device, you'd get interference which could mess with the device. A great way to see this in action is to have a bunch of unshielded cables right next to your computer speakers. You'll get some very annoying audio feedback periodically. Number 3. Elevator Door Hole Have you ever noticed the strange little hole usually located in the upper middle portion of one of an elevator's set of doors? If you have, you might think it's just a peephole of some kind, similar to what you find in the door of most modern houses. This isn't true, however. The hole isn't a peephole at all. It's actually a keyhole. It's shaped that way because the key is special and in the hands of the building staff. It's an emergency access hole specifically placed there in case the doors need to be opened manually. The interesting thing about this keyhole is that it will open up the doors no matter what, regardless of whether or not the elevator is actually waiting on the other side or not. Number two, the plunger. Your standard mental image of a plunger is actually not the one you're supposed to use on your toilet. Let that sink in for a moment. You've been using the wrong plunger this whole time. It's true, oddly enough. The standard cup plunger is actually not the correct one for use in your toilet. It's meant for a sink. The real plunger you should be using on your toilet is called either a flange plunger or just a toilet plunger, depending on where you go. There's a third kind too. It can be used in either situation as well as others. This is called an accordion plunger. Number one, holding a beer. If someone came up to you at the bar and told you that you're holding your beer wrong, you'd probably tell them to get lost. But there's actually something to it. 
if you can resist the urge to punch the guy long enough to listen. You see, beer bottles are shaped the way they are so that you can hold them by the neck. This prevents your hands from warming up the bottle as you hold it, and thereby keeps the drink colder for longer. No one likes a warm beer, so give it a try next time. Hold your beer bottle by the neck and see if it keeps that icy cold freshness longer than it would have otherwise.